At one point, BL was basically saying to us that we don't have any authority to do any of this. Um, and so, in effect, they wouldn't sign this agreement. We had a meeting with BL and we explained to them that the PUC is the only entity in Belize that the laws give power to set rates. Um, and because BL was saying that, no, they, we shouldn't be setting any rates here, they should negotiate the rate with Santander. So anyway, we, we had several back and, forths, um, back and forth with BL, both formally and informally, until we reached a stage where we realized we needed to be a bit more forceful. And so basically, um, we had prepared a draft of the amendments to the agreement that we would like to see. And we wrote BL and told them because BL's license condition 17 basically says that if the commission designates an agreement having to do with supply, transmission, distribution, of generation of electricity, if we designate an agreement for the purposes of that condition, then we can require BL to offer to enter into the agreement and to forthwith enter into the agreement upon the offer being accepted. Santander has indicated their acceptance and they have made an offer to enter into the agreement but BL still hasn't. And so um, uh, one of the things we are doing today, apart from announcing the decision and inviting comments from the public on that decision, we're also um, announcing our intention, right? to make an order under Section 23 of the Electricity Act um, to ensure that BL complies with the condition 17 of its license. Again, we, we, we believe that the, the, the position of BL in this regard is, is kind of unreasonable. Um, BL's reason that they give for not entering into the agreement and not complying with condition 17 is that the agreement does not compensate, provide compensation for any um, um, obligations undertaken by BL. We believe this is very unreasonable for our PPA. And so after several months of trying to get BL to cooperate and, and to let us move forward with this matter, the commission decided that um, we need now to make this order. Um, and requiring that BL enter into the agreement. And if they don't, then we will have to take the legal steps to ensure that, that they comply with the order. No? BL can't do whatever it wants. BL must operate within a restrictive environment where it operates in a rule that is prescribed in the public interest. BL tries to make the same argument you make. We are private people. It's an entire private. The, 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 the activity we have to, together is private. No, you are private actors, but the activity you perform is in the public interest. And it must be under a rule prescribed by us. And BL is aware of that, but they are just playing a game. And I think with the new management at BL, my own view on the matter is they intend, because this is not only SSEL, it's not only the FTRP the issue with other issues we're having. They intend, from what I'm seeing, to get away from being in a restrictive environment. They don't want to be under the jurisdiction where rules prescribed in the public interest they need to abide by. They want to always operate in their own private commercial interests. That is the way it looks to us. BEL is intent on removing being in a restrictive environment. They don't want to operate under public interest rules. That is how you can't help but see, because this is not only this fair. Every time we operate with BL, they don't want to be restricted under rules prescribed by the public interest. They simply want things that are in their own commercial interest.